So all in total, we have about 15, 15 miles of projects currently being developed and some significant structures. Uh, we're looking at moving between 20 and 30 million yards of dirt. This will allow for, for corridor H to be completed up through the Parsons section. I think um, locals and then as well as people from outside the state that could come to these uh, great areas to come see tourist destinations as well as uh, infrastructure and shipping and things like that could come here. There's a lot of excitement to get the project completed and, and when they talk completed they want to be able to get to here to Washington DC to I-81, I-66 as quick as possible. So there's a lot of encouragement from the public currently and momentum to see this project completed. Once in a lifetime uh, opportunity to be a part of something like this, you hardly ever will see something in construction. Uh, it's nice to uh, or to be around uh, like a, these large contractors and to work with consultants and uh, to get a large project like this done. There's a lot of beautiful places in West Virginia, but this is one of the most beautiful places you'll find in West Virginia. And at the end, it'll be one of the most beautiful highways in the nation for us and. Here in Elkins, West Virginia, this is a once in a lifetime to see the things that we're seeing currently. It's just once in a lifetime opportunity. When you hear, um, when you speak to them, you can, uh, they're, they're really excited for uh, this to be built and so they can have access to uh, other parts of this state and uh, other parts of other states like DC and uh, 81 and Route 66 and things like that. I'm seeing such large equipment and just, lar just such massive amounts of excavation and these large bridges that uh, people in my position will probably never see again once this is done. One positive thing for, for the Division of Highways and our administration, when they see the opportunity to get these big projects uh, under construction, get them started, they're taking that opportunity. And, and it puts a lot of pressure on the folks that are currently in the Division of Highways that currently People have to step up and uh, we have the opportunity to train some young folks and, and it's just a, a good challenge to take on and it's, it's awesome to see employees develop and, and we just have an opportunity that maybe wasn't there 10, 15 years ago that's, that's here today.